really good turnout for this cold January morning. The temperature is just above freezing. So uh, well done chaps. So myself and Tony have offered to help out on this beginner's ride. I'm not sure how much help that's going to be, but we'll give it a go. It's a bit on the cool side, but um, <laughs> we're going to have a bit of fun. So uh, come along for the ride. About a week ago, it didn't look like it was going to be on, but the temperature has risen a little bit, so it's not frosty. No need for any heroes today, I don't think. I'm not going to go through there. This I have never done before. Oh, that's a good oh. No, it's a good one. It's not the lanes which are a problem when it's frosty, it's the untreated back roads. Very slippery. Over right down the middle. Yeah, the middle looks okay. Graham probably had the biggest task on this big KTM. His tyres were clogged pretty much all day long, they were like slicks, so well done mate. Well Tim's looking better with his new tyres, isn't he? Yeah, looking good. I think they've all just got a few rides under their belts now yeah. as well, so it's looking good. Learn a little bit each time, tyre pressures this time. Yeah. Oh, look at that Tony, nice bit of traditional hedging. Yeah. Weaving the hedge. You don't see things like that very often now, uh, do you? That's a long way as well. Yeah, very nice. We had quite a few stops, you know, to dish out <laughs> hints and tips. <coughs> no, really, have a pee. Yeah, we put say gloves on their engine this time. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, glove warming. Learn and burn. All the gloves are on the engines this time. Good boys. All right, Tony. Yep. It's a muddy one. Yeah. Oh, sun is getting a bit low and a bit bright now, isn't it? Yeah. It's that horrible. It's the winter sun, isn't it? It's yeah. Rather it overcast a little bit. If you've got scratchy glasses or scratchy goggles, it's not the nicest. Like stars. Can't do a better spot, can you, for Oops. Well held. Yay, time for the calf. Bit of a warm up, bit of a coffee break. Talk bollocks. Thanks for the coffee and cake, Tony. You're a gent. I think this used to be really muddy, if I remember rightly. Yeah. There was some over by Sibyl Henning and Wayne. They were horrendously muddy as well. Yeah, there's a lot on the border. Where I live, Suffolk and Essex border, they're quite quite muddy. I'll, I'll edit the first bit out. <laughs> <laughs> After extensive negotiations with the little old lady, me and Tony are playing catch up here.
That's enough of that. I remember coming up here in the summer and Andy was on that GS and he was bouncing around everywhere. He was giving it some, bless him. And Phil was on his T7, I think. That was the first time oh, he'd, right, yeah. he'd driven that off-road and uh, quite impressive that was. They're quite nice, aren't they, yeah, yeah. T7s? Yeah, it's all right for them long-legged buggers, isn't it? In general, everyone's done really well, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, it's very good, yep. Yeah. Hope you don't fall off now, you told him to change side. <laughs> well, that's all the brambles. I, 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 I didn't tell him to take this way, I just said, if you want to change track, so I could hold that one up in a court of law, I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> Them tyres are like bloody slicks, man. Oh, it's got a bit sticky, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, well done, Graham. Well done Vern for putting on this ride, it was cold, it was slippery at times as for being a beginner's ride I think everybody made a lot of progress but beginners they weren't. If I had to give an award to anybody I'd definitely give it to Graham turning up with the big KTM um, and trying to keep that upright was a challenge in itself. Well thanks for watching, that's about it really, we had a good time. We had a few coffees, a few pee breaks. It was really good fun. I'm pretty sure all the riders had a good time. And it was good fun chatting with Tony, although it was heavily edited. Once again, thanks Vern. Oh, here's a picture of Vern having a sleep. <laughs>